restart pulse. But what if it kills him? Just do it. Welcome back, pilot. Mission Control Munich here. I am the mission flight director. We had a communication blackout for longer than anticipated. Pilot, your vital signs were critical. We were fearing the worst. Malfunction detected. It looks like the electric power unit is damaged. Pilot, if you can hear us, hit the electric power unit with your wrench. Pilot, you were advised to use the wrench on the electric power unit in order to fix it. Everything looks back to nominal. Pilot, do you copy? Pilot, can you hear us? Reporting radio damage. Pilot, push the button on the radio. Confirming, the radio is fried. Damn, it looks like we have only one way of communication. We'll have to work with that. Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Munich, Houston here. We would like to remind you that we are on a collaborative mission to the ISS. Are you sure the pilot hasn't blacked out? Affirmative, Houston. We can see the data. The pilot is conscious. Copy that. Pilot Houston here. We will be tracking your progress and providing support. We hope you didn't crack your head. Vital signs are nominal. Munich, Moscow here. We would like to remind you this is a collaborative mission. Why am I... Moscow, you really don't need to repeat what we just said. Pilot is fine. Our reading shows a spaceship is as good as new. It was built by the brightest minds of our nation. Moscow, since you mentioned that this is a collaborative mission, we have the same readings. Houston, then why are you asking if the pilot has blacked out? Moscow, we have to make 100% sure that the pilot is conscious. What if he did crack his head? Houston, but you just received confirmation from our artificial intelligence that the vital signs are more. Moscow, better triple than double check. Houston, but we all just triple checked. It is not that Pilot is a space monkey who can push only one button. Moscow, seriously? Do you train your monkeys to push only one button? Gentlemen, remember, this is a collaborative mission. Everything is under control. Please do not occupy the frequencies. Copy that, Munich. 
Mission control here. To approach the International Space Station, start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Target acquired. Proceed to proximity approach procedure. Now for everyone. Our mission is to re-establish control of the International Space Station. We are on the clock here. If we fail, we will lose the ISS. Mission control. We need to determine the reason why we lost control of the ISS in the first place. Correct. We will perform a flyby procedure. It should give us some answers. Munich, are we sure that we have time for that? We'll have to make time for that. Pilot, the approach of the new millennium will generate what we call the Yin 2K bug. Houston here. Our analysis shows that all computer systems might fail after midnight. We need to apply a system update to secure the ISS against it. Moscow here. We need to correct the orbit of the ISS before midnight, or it will burn in the atmosphere. Correct. Unfortunately, we cannot apply the update from Earth. Communication with the station is lost. Time is our enemy. The Y2K bug is no joke. Pilot, do you copy that? Yes. Spaceship copies. Everyone remember, failure is not an option. Any mistake may lead to irreversible mayhem. We need to focus. Let's get to work. Godspeed to you all. Copy, Mission Control. Copy, Mission Control.
Approach the International Space Station. Start the proximity approach procedure. Select the ISS on your computer. Target acquired. Proceed to proximity approach procedure. Now for everyone. Our mission is to re-establish control of the International Space Station. We are on the clock here. If we fail, we will lose the ISS. Mission Control. We need to determine the reason why we lost control of the ISS in the first place. Correct. We will perform a flyby procedure. It should give us some answers. Munich, are we sure that we have time for that? We'll have to make time for that. Pilot, the approach of the new millennium will generate what we call the Year 2K bug. Houston here. Our analysis shows that all computer systems might fail after midnight. We need to apply a system update to secure the ISS against it. Moscow here. We need to correct the orbit of the ISS before midnight, or it will burn in the atmosphere. Correct. Unfortunately, we cannot apply the update from Earth. Communication with the station is lost. Time is our enemy. The Y2K bug is no joke. Pilot, do you copy that? Yes. Spaceship copies. Everyone remember, failure is not an option. Any mistake may lead to irreversible mayhem. We need to focus. Let's get to work. Godspeed to you all. Copy, Mission Control. Copy, Mission Control.
The ISS sustained unspecified damage. We lost remote control of the station. It has been knocked off course. Pilot, your mission goal is to perform a flyby and to localize the damage of the ISS. We will assess the next steps from there. Moscow here. Our reading indicates that damage has occurred in the Destiny module. Houston here. The Destiny module can be identified as attached to the Central Unity module. It doesn't have any solar panels. Pilot, get ready to engage in flyby procedure. Use your scanner gun to locate the Destiny module. the module. Pilot, remember to keep a safe distance. Houston, please. Pilot knows what he's doing. As long as he's keeping the distance.
Anomaly detected. We see some strange data here. Moscow here. We confirm anomalous data. It suggests there might be an electric discharge, probably occurring on the surface of the module. Houston, are we missing something? Well, hard to tell. There was supposed to be an antenna there. Houston, antenna is broken, just like the radio you installed in the spaceship. What more errors might we expect? Moscow, none. Everything else works just fine, as you surely can check in the readings. Yes, yes, we normally check more than double, that's for sure. Gentlemen, please focus. The missing antenna explains why we lost remote control. Let's start the docking procedure already. Once complete, the pilot will be able to load the system update and regain control of the space station. Copy that. Pilot, mission control here. Let's move to the docking procedure. International Space Station configured for capture. Copy mission control. ISS configured for capture. Pilot, use the scanning gun to locate the docking hatch. by little blinking red lights. Copy mission control, ISS configured for capture. Pilot, use the scanning gun to locate the docking hatch. Pilot, you can locate the hatches by little blinking red lights. Pilot, maneuver the spaceship to the docking corridor in front of the scanned hatch.
pilot move the ship to the docking corridor in front of the target hatch. The red box is unlocked. Secure the red box. Mission Control, we are receiving information about an unsecured red box in the spaceship cabin. Mission Control here. Please repeat. What was that with the red box? Uh, a red box seems to be flying around the cabin. That is impossible. Data shows uh, it is. There is no red box on board. I don't understand. Houston here. We confirm. Our readings show the same. Moscow also confirms that information. But there never was a box installed in there. According to the AI, there is one now. Yes, I can see that now, but again, we never installed a red box in there. Mission Control, Houston here. We have no idea where that might have come from. Definitely not from us. Moscow, we are not responsible for interior decorations. Broken radios, missing antennas, flying red boxes. Definitely not our style of work. What are you trying to say, Moscow? If we would have installed a red box, it would be locked and safe, for sure. Do you mean that we installed a red box that we don't know about? Why would we do that? Houston, honestly, I don't know why you do things you don't know. But that reminds me of a similar situation, like in 1961. Moscow, you are crossing a thin red line here. That wasn't our work back then, and you know that. Well, it wasn't ours either. So here we go again. Houston, who put the red box in there? And what the hell is it? It's nothing. Uh, not us. Absolutely nothing. Definitely not us. There is still an unknown uh, red box flying around. Yes. We all can read the messages. Sorry, Mission Control. We can't always take responsibility for what is read. Well, someone has to.
Capture confirmed. Manual control deactivated. Initiate free drift. Mission control. Free drift initiated. Retracting tracking probe. Docking interface hooks closure. Hard mate confirmed. Command, we confirm successful mating. Mission control, we confirmed docking successful. We copy. Congratulations everyone. Welcome to the International Space Station. We're on time, but our mission isn't over yet. Stay focused. Post-docking leak check is underway. Pilot, please move to the front of the spaceship in order to prepare the system update procedure. Houston here. Pilot, we need you to use the front computer and load the system update program on the yellow disk. Moscow here. The program we agreed to load is on the red floppy disk. Mission control. See? Red again. That doesn't mean anything. Thank you, mission control. Whatever. Pilot, we advise you to use the yellow floppy disk. Pilot, please stand by. What the hell, guys? This is ridiculous. Why do we have two system updates? To our knowledge, there is only one. The red floppy. The code for the update was present on a yellow floppy disk. That's all we know. Copy that. Please stand by. Pilot, it appears that there are two updates present on the spaceship. Mission Control is currently assessing the correct one. Please stand by. Pilot, Houston here. We are running out of time. The system update contains a patch against the Y2K bug. You will find it on the yellow floppy disk. Program loading. Install process at 50%. Install process will complete in 3, 2, 1. Detecting multiple anomalies. Readouts suggest gas leaks in the cabin. Pilot, find the leak and use the pad to cover them. Stabilize the atmosphere. Spaceship readouts are nominal. Thank God. Pilot, are you okay? Vital signs nominal. Good to hear you're okay, Pilot. Great to see you in good shape. God, boy. Hatch anomaly detected. Pilot, it looks like this little adventure blocked the exit hatch. You won't be able to leave the cabin. Mission Control, Houston here. From our analysis, it looks like the update didn't go through. Remote control of the ISS is still not possible. Mission Control, Moscow here. We are sorry to inform, but the update failed. The ISS is still out of control. Pilot, we need a new plan. Please stand by. Uh, we see some weird data coming from the ISS. It looks like the dock mating is not stable. If we stay docked, the hull will break. Copy that. Pilot, begin emergency undocking procedure.
Systems separation confirmed. Undocking successful. Pilots, we are in a new situation. The update is confirmed to have failed and the ISS is still out of control. We are working on a backup plan. Please stand by and wait for further instructions. Mission Control, this is Houston. We have an idea. Mission Control, can you hear me? Pilot, choose coordinates for fake star. That's an order. Pilot, we have received new coordinates. It would be wise to follow new orders. Pilot, select new coordinates on your computer. Pilot, select fake star from your target list. Pilot, perform a proximity approach to the selected coordinates. Confirming spaceship is on way to new coordinates. Pilot, this is mission control. We see that you entered new coordinates. What is going on? Mission control, I was informed Comrade couldn't wait with New Year wishes. Did you already decide on the plan? Negative, Moscow. Houston, do you know what is going on? Oh, mission control, you're back. Yes, just a cigarette break, you know. Oh, a break, really? We thought we lost you. Anyways, we have a plan. Please elaborate. The ship is on its way to new coordinates we just sent. Houston, what are you talking about? It's kind of a little backup. We call it the Fake Star Project. It might help us re-establish connection with the ISS. Why are we flying there? Well, we thought we lost you both, so we took some responsibility. Didn't assume that you have breaks in such a situation. You might agree time is killing us. Mission Control here. We would like to know more specifics about this fake star. Mission Control and Houston. This is a collaborative mission. We need to know what you're planning. Mission Control, you're right. We will explain everything in time. Because it is a collaborative mission, that's why you need to trust us. This has nothing to do with trust. You just can't command like always. It is not always about you. Moscow, maybe you've got a better idea. All right then, Houston here. After the International Space Station project was started, our leaders decided it would be best to have an alternative way of communicating with the ISS, just in case of emergencies like this. Project Fake Star was born. We are running short on time here. The coordinates are not far, so it is just a proximity approach. If what you say is true, that might be our best shot. But Houston, this will have consequences. There is a chain of command. We will get back to that later. Do you copy that, Houston? Yes, ma'am. Copy that. Sneaky Yankees. Moscow, not here. Use your private line for that. Our president is already on it. Well, guess what, Moscow? Our president is on it, too. Fine. Over and out. Fine. Over and out.
pilot, we are receiving data that you are approaching the coordinates. Slow down so we can analyze the data from your scanners. Pilot, welcome to the Fake Star Project. Hidden among the asteroids, you will find a relay antenna. Get close to it. Our reading show it's a Soyuz. What the hnya is going on? It's second hand. Almost good, like new. We call it relay antenna. You couldn't invent your own? That's... That, that's a robbery. We have our own. But it's not our fault that the Soviet Union threw out a bunch of garbage. Houston, yet. Don't put Soviet Union and garbage in one sentence. Sorry, but not sorry. Is the spaceship supposed to maneuver between those rocks? No worries, Mission Control. It's possible. Mission Control, enough is enough. We didn't agree on a suicide mission. Moscow, we totally agree that this is a collaborative mission. Why should we commit suicide? Because history likes to repeat itself. Please, gentlemen, let's stay professional. All right, pilot, load the debris scanner disk to help you navigate through those asteroids. What happens after we arrive to the relay? Pilots should be able to use the antenna to finish the interrupted update on the ISS. He will need to be around 30 meters from the relay for the connection to be stable. Are we supposed to use it to communicate with the ISS? Affirmative. I'll be damned, Houston. That actually might work. Will we manage before midnight? We still have time. We can't believe you managed to hide this from us, Houston. It was never intended to be hidden. So why put that beautiful Soyuz in the middle of flying rocks? It's very hazardous. Don't worry. They are fake rocks. The fake star sounds like a really original name for it. It was the idea of our administrator, a poetic soul. Gentlemen, are there any more secret projects that we are not aware of? Uh, yet. Negative, mission control. Roger. Over and out. Pilot, get close to the Soyuz capsule in the middle of this rock field. Pilot, you are now close enough to the relay and to the Soyuz. A stable connection should be possible in a 30 meter radius. Pilot, use the scanning gun to establish connection with the relay. Relay connection established. We are pushing the code sequence now. Keep close to the relay. Houston, remember we want to finish this before the clock hits midnight. If the pilot keeps close, we will manage. Ah, oh, happy new year, by the way. Yes, let's make it happy. Code push finished. Roger that. Pilot, get out of this asteroid field. It's too dangerous to stay there. Standing by for update confirmation. Moscow here. We have positive signs of the space station control. Houston here. We confirm we have a successful update. Control of the space station is re-established. Stabilizing orbit now. Congratulations, everyone. We were on a tight schedule, and it looks like we did it. Pilot, get to safe distance from those rocks. Maneuver the spaceship away from the asteroids. Universal time reset will happen at midnight. Two minutes left. Hold your forces, mission control. We are still analyzing signals here. 
Houston here. It looks like the space station trajectory can be adjusted, but something in the data is not right. Houston, could you elaborate? It looks like someone else is connected to the ISS. Moscow, are you currently uplinking data? Negative, Houston. We are waiting for you to finish. 30 seconds to midnight. Mission Control, how about you? Negative, Houston. We left the data uplink to you. Does that mean somebody is hijacking the ISS? It looks so, yes. We're currently tracking the signal's origin. Where is it coming from? Universal time reset in five, four, three. We don't understand. It looks like the signal comes from a world of further. Happy New Year. Houston, do you copy? I repeat, Houston, do you copy? It looks like their communications are down. Pilot, we will try to re-establish connection with Houston and get the signal origin coordinates. Please stand by. Moscow, did Houston share the coordinates with you? Negative, Munich. But we are digging through the data now. Copy that. Pilot, you will have to find the source of the signal hijacking the ISS. If our suspicions are true, Are you still there? Blah. Looks like Munich codes are down too. The coordinates used to be Pilot, this is the AI speaking. It looks like we lost radio contact with ground control. Luckily, I am still receiving text messages from Earth. New orders are coming in. We are to perform an orbital transfer to the new coordinates. I will guide you through the procedure. Pilot, we will need to perform an orbital transfer in order to reach the new coordinates. Use the computer to select Mir as your target. Pilot, load the orbital flight software and follow the instructions on screen. Please stand by for burn sequence. Pilot, be sure to go through the checklist on the computer. The alignment can be checked on the nav ball on the right side of the computer. Correct your alignment for the next burn. Someone, anyone, please help! Okay! Uh oh! Get away from me! Come on! Get this in history class! No!